he says, but I thought we, we might want to get some expert advice. So Robert has graciously decided to come in tonight and talk to us about all the type bond product and kind of give us uh, the applications for a lot of the type bonds because we use type bond, a lot of us do. So this would be a good opportunity for everyone to ask a lot of questions of Robert. He's very well versed on, on the product itself and can answer any questions for us. And with that, Robert, the group is yours. Guys, <laughs> in my uh, on the speaking, I may not be an expert on the woodworking. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> no, I uh, took this uh, self rep for Taipei in Ontario since uh, 2012 when I was just landed. The most question I heard is Are the Taipei wood made in China? <laughs> <laughs> And then I said, I was made in China, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> the type of rules are made in Plum, so I uh, uh, Actually, I'm selling the type of products from Plum to China. I still cover uh, the Chinese market. Oh, really? I still sell the made in US product to, uh, to the China market. Uh, uh, I used to work for Franklin uh, in China for six years, so plus four years here. Um, 10 years with the, the uh, Franklin International. And Taipong is the uh, brand name of our construction products. So uh, Franklin has two divisions. One is construction, the other is the, uh, in industrial and polymer. Oh. So the Taipong is belongs to the uh, construction division. And the, so all the product with the Taipong name, that's for the construction division. So I'm sure with the construction division. And we have a lot more uh, industrial products in the industrial division with the big size of packaging, not the small one. Yeah. At least there's the pails or the poles. And uh, they have a more prof professional and more specific products for the furniture manufacturing. So probably most of you guys know our Big three, we talk about the big three, so Taibon original in the red, and Taibon two in the blue, and Taibon three in the green. Uh, I think I met some of you guys in the, the Hamilton, the Hamilton woodworking show, or the uh, Woodstock woodworking show, maybe, right? So, Either that or posters in the in most wanted in the post office. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I uh, a week ago I made some some samples of our the, these are dry grooves. These are dry grooves of type one two, and uh, these are the dry grooves of type one three. You can take a look. This is the glue. Like, uh, yeah. Turkey. 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 This is a high bomb to in creamy color. If you have any missing samples, check the guy in the yeah. middle row there. He's going to eat Sorry, these uh, samples are a little bit ugly, but you can uh, tell some uh, true facts. This is a high bomb original. So, high bomb original is not water resistant. That means when it's dry, it's brittle, very easy to break. Mm. Okay. So I will put one bit of Thai bomb original inside of the water, and one Thai bomb to dry brew inside the water. This is my my pump may last about 30 to 40 minutes. You know, at the end of this uh, uh, presentation, you will uh, have a look at how they look after 40 minutes. This is a type one three. So you can see the type one two and type one three. Very good flexibility. Very good flexibility. It's not <coughs> brittle. You know, so when the wood absorbs the moisture, and release the moisture, the, the wood will move, right? So the glue will move along with the wood, expand and come
contract. That's so important to, uh, to remain the water resistant or the waterproof. I have a question. Yeah. <coughs> you need these samples. Mm -hmm. What did you lay them out on that it didn't stick to? Just, okay. just lay on the uh, plastic film. It will not stick to the plastic film. Just, just those the plastic bag you you use in the supermarket to yeah. buy the fruits and, and uh, vegetables. We just use those uh, bags. I, I cut it in half and then, and then I extrude the, the, the glue and wait about a week. Then it would. It, this is not completely dry. In the, in the chemical definition, that it would take about 21 days to let the glue completely dry. So when we talk about dry, this means three weeks. It's not completely dry, but it's 90 percent dry. But uh, it it takes about two extra weeks to let the 10 percent dry. So so. Yes. So should you wait those two to three weeks for it to dry before you finish the piece? So if you want to do the testing of the bond, bonding strands of the wood, you should wait for three weeks. Then at that time, that's the final strands of the wood. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but usually, people will not wait for three Three weeks to three test. minutes. So, yeah, three minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> That's a long yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if just testing the strengths, the bonding strengths, as you may see in many, uh, uh, I would like to mention our competitor's name. They they will say uh, this wood glue is stronger than the wood, right? Wood glue stronger than the wood is a very basic feature. Just like your cell phone, can, you can use the cell phone to make a call. <laughs> it's a very basic feature, like a car can drive. But the difference of a car is how, how many seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers. Right? That tells different, right? 6 seconds, 7 seconds, or 8 seconds, 9 seconds. That's the difference, right? So, even you use the cheapest white glue, in the market you can get, you can achieve wood glue is stronger than the wood. The wood failure will be, you know, at least 80%. Right? But, when, when the wood is exposure to different moisture content, that really, you know, that really, that really matters. So in the, when we do the testing uh, for the wood, uh, waterproof or, or, or the water resistant, there are two uh, standards. One is the NC type 1 water boiling test. So the test is to put the wood into the boiling water to boil for four hours and then take them out and bake at 69 degrees for 20 hours and then put it inside the boiling water again to boil four hours. Take them out running in the cooling water and then do the tensile strain and the shear test. So that's the NC type 1 boiling water test. Wow. So type 1 3 has this boiling water test and type 1 3 probably is the only one uh, one part PVA glue that has the boiling water test. And the other product uh, who pa uh, which passed this boiling test are either epoxy or the, the other kind of or like a polyurethane. So who, who does that standard of, of testing? Is that what you do internally, or is it sort of like a government thing that they it's test? NC. What is it's it? NC ties, uh, Ameri mm -hmm. uh, NC is an American national, uh, there's a long name about that. Uh, it's so a, it's, it's a third party, basically. It's a third, okay. third party. The, and the Type Bomb 2 has the NC type two water resistant test. So this is not boiling water test. You just put the wood inside the room temperature water, soak them for four uh, four hours, and then bake at forty nine degree for nineteen hours, and do it three cycles. And then no tensile or shear test. Just observe any delamination around the edge. If there any Delamination that means fail. If no delamination, that's good. So 
That's why we label the type bond 2 as a water resistant wood glue. Type bond 3 is a waterproof wood, waterproof wood glue. They, are, they have a lot of difference in, in just a boiling water test and this is just a room temperature ordinary test. Yes. Uh, if you have a, a wood product that you have to leave in a bucket of water mm -hmm. always, which is the best glue that type bond makes? A bucket of bucket of water. If you immerse a wood a wood yeah. uh, tool mm -hmm. that's been that's been glued by type bond yeah. product, which is the best product to use? That then must be type bond three. Because I'm, I, it's immersed in water all the time. Okay, if it's all the time, it means uh, like a bowl. Ninety nine percent. Ninety nine percent. Green. That's not, then, then no good groups are recommended in that application. Yeah. I, I know those, those marine guys, they use type on 3 in the boat decoration. You know, that's just the inside of the, the boat, but not, like you said, 95 percent submerged inside the water for 365 days. So, <coughs> type bond two is is a is the product designed to do the edge, do the edge bonding and lamination. It will not, uh, of course, I mean, it will not sub come out from the uh, substrate of the uh, the, the veneer. Is that compared to contact cement? Like, right? Contact cement is uh, you mean the solvent-based con the contact cement, right? They use two for sticking on veneers. So right. you use that. Can you do that the same thing? It can. It can work as like a. It well, it can do the lamination of uh, and the veneer, but uh, you need more time and you need to uh, control. The drying time very accurately, oh. so not totally not unlike the uh, contact cement. You can achieve one second. Yeah. Good. But <clears throat> use the wood glue. Yes, you can do the lamination, but you need to really, really um, control the drying time. Not too long, not too short, <laughs> and you need to iron the veneer when the glue is dry. Okay. Yeah. So just about five minutes, the type bond originally a little bit start to dissolve. So the ordinary white glue or the carbonate glue is not what it is in the bond. Yes. Does the um, ultimate strength of that bond mm -hmm. is it determined by the wood type? The volume of adhesive or the clamping strength, you know, the tightness of the, the clamp holding the two pieces together, or all three of those, because they're all variables, are they not? Right. Those factors actually will uh, affect the uh, the drying time, uh, but uh, we don't have the exact data to show. I mean, how how much glue you apply and would uh, would cause how many days you have to wait. We just have a, some general numbers. You should clamp the wood for at least 30 minutes. And if you don't want a, a second uh, glue line, you should let the wood, let the glue dry for four days. Mm -hmm. So let the glue dry completely, and then you sand it, primer, and then paint. I was gluing yeah. up some. Um, uh, cheese boards, or yeah. different different types of wood, yeah. and uh, maybe because I was using extra clamps yeah. to clamp that, or perhaps I used less glue than I should have, but I had some delamination, I had some separation. When well, I cut it. Yeah. Less glue will be a problem. Then you do you use the brush or you use the roller to apply? The I use brush. Brush. But can you over clamp your star? Can you squeeze it too tight? 
Uh, can you start with it? It's, uh, it's a difficult to judge that whether it's a two tight on the, they will just suggest you can be tight. There's a no too tight. If you can be for 24 hours, that should be very good. That should be very good. Do you normally recommend to put more glue than less? Is, is that typically a better practice so that you're, it runs out? We would prefer the glue run, runs out a little bit. Yeah, and then you can wipe it off for the way, way about four days and set it off. Uh, we recommend you, you use the brush or the roller to apply the glue. Uh, that could uh, generate some saving, otherwise you would you may apply too, too, too much glue and get the too much squeeze out. Yeah. Do you apply 